Hola amigos de TV Agro. Hello, friends of TV Agro. This is Andres Gonzalez, an agronomist by profession. A very special greeting to the people who see us from their homes. I want to give a very special greeting to all the entrepreneurs in the countryside, the farmers, all these people who get up every day to work for a better and special countryside. Also a special greeting to the Banana Guild. Today we are precisely here directing a program where we're going to learn what characteristics and criteria we must take into account when planting a banana crop or establish a banana tree. Eh, hoy estamos desde el municipio de Viota, Cundinamarca. Today we are from the municipality of Viota, Cundinamarca. Here we can observe this soil, which has not been worked, where it is intended to start a banana farm. We were therefore doing the pertinent analysis. The first thing any producer must do is the selection of the lot. Que la selección del lote tiene unos parámetros a tener en cuenta. Which has some parameters to take into account. Initially, you have to start by taking a tour, taking some soil samples, if possible also to send a complete soil analysis to the laboratory, where we can see the physical and chemical characteristics of the soil, which will be very useful during the crop cycle. Después de que tengamos seleccionado nuestro lote, after we have selected our lot, we must observe the history it has had. Since the banana crop demands some diseases that have suddenly been in the area, are limiting at the time of production. We also want to highly recommend the care that must be taken when selecting the seed. The banana stalk must be selected very carefully. It must be selected with great health. Here, for example, we can see some banana stalks that have already been removed. We can see the different sizes. Este colino de plátano pues eh, era un hijo de la planta. This banana stalk was a child of the plant which we cut. We cut here with a shovel. Then the stalk was extracted, polished with a machete, and this is the form of banana reproduction. Un colino, o sea, una reproducción asexual, porque lo que sembramos finalmente es este colino, este cormo. It is an asexual reproduction because what is finally this stalk is this height. As I told you, the plant can have many stalks. Health is mainly that the lot has no history of especially mucus, a vigorous lot. That is a lot that has had good cultural and phytosanitary management. Después de tener seleccionado nuestro lote, con las condiciones... Once our lot has been selected with the conditions for cultivation and we have selected our seed, what we proceed to do is to treat this seed. Eh, esta semilla, por ejemplo, el tratamiento de una semilla de plátano... The treatment of a banana seed must be carefully checked so that the system is not invaded by insects that does not have affectations or cracks due to pests, no tenga afectaciones o fisuras por plagas, such as weevils, mealybug. In this case, it is advisable to use a product. Trichoderma can be very friendly, so that will help us protect the top of the banana tree. We can do it by bathing a solution of trichoderma with a root that they call to help the banana generate better roots. After having the treatment, we make a hole that is more or less 40 by 40. I'm going to show you what the hole would be like, and we will see how it is planted. I missed a detail, and I want us to take it into account. It is not common in planting crops, but we should select the seed. And why am I telling you this? As they are, it is a crop that is planted with a distance between plants of two, two and a half meters. Competition can easily be generated. For example, this size of stalk, and here we have another size of stalk. If this stalk is next to this one, well, imagine the vigor that this plant is going to start compared to the vigor of this one. So a seed classification would be ideal and thus establish it by certain rows, large seed, medium seed, and small seed. As I was telling you about the banana hole, it can be done more or less at a distance. What is recommended is 40 by 40, not very deep. The stalk must be completely covered, and at the end something tamped down to avoid leaving voids on the ground, and the stalk grows as if false, or definitely these holes will fill up in a downpour of humidity. Eh, vamos a tomar nuestro palín. We're going to take our shovel, 
and I will show you here a very easy way to plant a banana stalk. This is the lot, which in this case we are going to follow up and we decided to plant bananas. We started by making a 40 by 40 hole as I told you. Sacamos la capa del suelo. We removed the layer of soil, polished the stone a little. Okay. Where we put the stalk vertically, we put it upright. De una manera vertical, lo ponemos paradito. Entonces, después de que tenemos nuestro hueco, once we have our hole, we proceed to put the seed vertically. En este hueco debemos hacer, en lo posible, un tratamiento. In this hole, we must do a treatment as much as possible, or start with an amendment work. What does that mean? Many soils have problems of acidity, aluminium and iron. It's advisable at the time of seeding in the hole to add some lime. Alguna cal. Ya sea una cal dolomita, un calfos. Either a dolomite lime, a calfos, preferably we recommend a calfa, since it will provide, apart from calcium, a phosphorus content, which the plant will need in its start time. In this case, we are going to use a seal, which is one of the herbicides that are used to prevent it. If we are going to handle a seal, which is herbicides that are used to prevent weeds from coming out, we must be careful because they can burn. It must be covered very well. Be careful, I left a part of the stalk on the outside so that they could observe. I return and I repeat, the stalk should be covered as possible. What we do is add more soil to prevent our stalk from being exposed. Normally at the time of planting, we have to be careful that the holes are not flooded with water, right? We cannot plant a banana tree in a hole where it is full of humidity. It is better to wait a few days for the water to drain to lay to plant. After we have planted our banana stalks, we are going to wait a few days for the crop to emerge more or less. That takes between 8 to 12 days depending on weather conditions. After our crop goes ahead, handling is very simple. Es un cultivo que responde muy bien. Planting is a crop that responds very well to the management of cultural work, drainage. Not to forget, drainage is very important. Even drainage should be done after mechanization, before planting. Why? Because there are times when planting is carried out and the winter season arrives. It completely covers the hill. It is better to have established drainage so that if it rains, the water has a place to evacuate immediately. Drainage is very important for cultural work, disinfection. Eh, los protocolos fitosanitarios, entradas al lote por una misma parte, puntos de desinfección. Phytosanitary protocols, entrance to the lot from the same party, disinfection points. Let's remember that bananas have a disease called mucus, caused by the Ralstonia solanaceerum bacterium, which is a great limitation after it appears in an area. After this, it is management of crop nutrition, cultural management such as defoliation and applications for cigatoca. Let's remember that Let's remember there are regions where 35 tons of production per hectare are obtained. There are other regions that produce 25. There are variations in the market. The more common banana varieties in the region are the Dominican, the Dominican Harton, there is the Dwarf Harton, and other varieties for agro-industry such as the Fiat 21, the Fiat 20 which are mainly for packaging. In this case, we are planting stalks of Harton, a very good variety. Let's remember some of them because they adjust to depending on the market we have. The idea is to have good cultural management of our lot, good sanitation, good disinfection of the tools to have a healthy and well-nourished lot. Sano y bien nutrido. Como les comentaba, existe una enfermedad. As I was telling you, there is a disease that is very frequent and is also one of the main limiting factors in plant and production. There are some regions that are very efficient in managing these diseases, such as Uraba, 
which is good action plans. Here we have learned a lot and this disease is called cigatoca. It's a spore that starts on the leaf. Once it invades, it is supported by high humid conditions. What it does is multiply and necrotize the leaf tissue, which will cause the plant to do less photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, tenga menos área, área foliar. Para esta enfermedad, have less leaf area. For this disease management is everything. We can manage it with a group of fungicides, agricultural biofungicides that are protective, curative and preventive. Curativos y están los preventivos. Es hacer un un como una mezcla de estos de estas moléculas. It is to make a mixture of these molecules and begin to attack the fungus in different ways. For example, calcium broth is a very good option and it is very cheap. Remember that you can prepare it at home. So applying 3 litres per 200 litre can in a period of no more than 8 days starting, we are going to obtain very good results. There is also the Bordeaux broth, also very good for handling cigatoca, and these products are also highly recommended in winter times since they are a bit hot and emit heat to the plant. Apart from providing nutrients, you can prepare them, as I tell you, from home. This is a good alternative to reduce costs. Whoever wants to suddenly find fungicides on the market to apply to them when managing the disease, let us almost always remember that our cigatoca applications are accompanied by a good glue. And remember, one is the part of applications and secondly, the trimming, defoliation or surgeries that we call it. After each application, go and blunt the part that is already necrotic, the affected parts, to open the field to the other leaves. In addition to that, we know that after applying the leaf, it is going with control and we are not going to generate a spread in the soil. Entonces, eh, este es el manejo para la cigatoca. So this is the management for cigatoca. All the management remember that there are curative and preventative protests. All the management remember that there are curative and preventive protesters that will help you get a good production. Keep this in mind. Be very judicious so that the cycles do not lengthen so much, especially in the winter seasons when the spore is in more action due to the relative humidity of the environment. I hope you like the program a lot. Friends of TV Agro, remember that you are with Andres Gonzalez. You can locate me on social networks as Andres Gonzalez Neva. Any questions or concerns, my contact number is 322-891-8334. See you in the next program. Learning with engineer Andres Gonzalez. A very special greeting to all the farmers in Colombia, especially the banana sector. Remember that we have just seen the criteria for planting banana plot or establishing a banana crop.